Hello everyone, welcome back to Reading with Leanne. We are going to read the book Super Manny Stand Up. This is written by Kelly DiPuccio and is illustrated by Stephanie Gregan. So, on the cover of the book we see a superhero. This must be Super Manny. He's a raccoon. Raccoons have natural masks on their faces. And look at him with his superhero cape. So, opening up our book. <gasps> We see Super Manny in his home. Every day, Super Manny put on a different cape after school. So hanging on his coat rack, look at all the different colors of capes. Looks like he's with his sister and his mom. So, goes on the blue cape. When he wore his blue cape, he saved the world from the ocean of unsavory sea creatures. He looks in his fishbowl and there's pirate fish, fish with sharp teeth, fish with three eyes, and he battles them. Holding his net, he says, I am fearless. Catching the pirate fish, the sharp teeth fish, the three eyed fish. He's going to get the fish with the bat. Do you see that? Elephant fish? What about the ghost fish? Interesting. So he's going to battle the sea creatures with the blue cape. In his red cape, Manny battled an angry army of zombie bears. <gasps> Roar! I am strong! Manny says. And he's battling the zombie bears that are walking towards him. Oh, wait a second. His sister is trying to have a tea party. Hmm. I think he took that bear right off of one of the chairs. His sister is like, oh, you're ruining my tea party. So that's the red cake. And then he soared through the skies in his yellow cape. I am brave. So look at him. He's pulled out the uh, cushions of the sofa. He's badly against these blobs. They look like clouds, but like sharp clouds, spiky clouds. Hmm. He does this as his dad reads his newspaper. And with the cushions, look what he did. <gasps> he single-handedly brought down the evil cloud monsters. So in his sofa cushion cave, I wonder if he's with the nice cloud monsters. Reading with them. <gasps> and then another cape. <gasps> When legions of alien robots with laser beam eyes invaded, Manny tirelessly fought them off with his purple cape. So, pew, 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 pew. But he says, I am powerful. <gasps> and he fights the robots. A green cape usually meant Manny was taking on the forest giants defeating them one at a time. Actually, the forest giants look quite kind, right? Even one is gardening with the sister and mother. It looks like Manny is playing croquet with a forest giant. I am invincible, he says. So, traveling to the far reaches of the galaxy to fight crime and injustices wasn't easy, but that's what superheroes do. So, in the car, he says, I am Super Manny! <gasps> and imagines these aliens flying around him in their space crafts. Manny always saved his top secret undercover cape for school. So, his mom takes him to Clark's school, and what cape does he have? <laughs> The invisible cape. 
with it, he battled mutant monkeys. Ugh. Mutant monkeys indeed. We have a three-eyed monkey, a cyclops monkey. He stopped fiery comets headed straight for Earth. Gotcha! He faced down giant squids with long tentacles and red eyes. Oh, so, let's go fight these squids over here. However, in the cafeteria there is a sound. I said move! Manny looked past his lunch to see where the loud voice was coming from. Tall one was towering over small one and laughing. Move, little weirdo, she said. Small one seemed to even get smaller. Manny watched as tall one continued his laughing and teasing. He felt frozen, glued to his seat, so he said nothing. He did nothing. <gasps> oh, until he remembered his invisible cape. Manny stood up, and then he did the bravest, most courageous, kindest thing he ever could have done. He said, Stop it. Everyone is looking around. Tall one moved in closer. What did you say? Manny saw a storm of evil cloud monsters swirling around Tall one's head. But he had stared into the eyes of zombie bears, unsavory sea creatures, and forest giants before, so he didn't back down. He reminded himself, I am fearless, I am strong, I am brave, I am powerful, I am invincible. I said, stop it, he repeated a little louder this time. You're being mean. At that moment, everyone around him remembered. They too were superheroes with their own invisible capes. Stop it. Cut it out. Stop that. Hey, stop it. Don't do that. Quit it. Stop it. That's not nice. Yeah, stop it. Stop it. Everyone has their invisible capes on. Tall one scowled. And then, just like the legions of alien robots with laser beam eyes, he retreated. Mission accomplished. Small one was very grateful for the backup. Would you like a cookie? Look, the teacher is talking to tall one. Manny was grateful too. Because every superhero needs a sidekick. <gasps> and it looks like small one goes to Manny's house and gets to meet the sea creatures and the robots and the mutant monkeys and the squids and the aliens and the forest giants. <gasps> and the zombie bears, and the cloud monsters. So, they get to spend time together. And if we flip over the page, we see Super Manny and the small one in their various capes. And that is the end of this book. So this is called Super Manny Stands Up, written by Kelly DiPuccio, and it was illustrated by Stephanie Gregan. I hope you enjoyed reading along with me.